Did you know that there are 300 bones in the human body, 12 joints and 5 bones in an arm? There are hundreds of thousands of cheesy songs with the word arm in the title. Died in your arm by cutting crew? This one definitely rings some bells. There are 477 words with the word arm in it. Charm, farm, firearm, alarm, armadillo, armor, disarm, 477. It's crazy. But the reason, the, hi, I'm Liam Gaeta, and my story begins on summer vacation 2014. I was playing baseball with my brother and a couple of my cousins. My brother hit a home run, and I tried to stop him from getting to home base, but he wasn't stopping. He plowed into my arm and broke both the bones in my wrist. And the only apology I ended up getting out of him was that he apologized for landing on me instead of home base. So, the reason that I am here is to tell you all that you should let nothing in your life be defined as an obstacle, or if so, a challenge to overcome. And that's what I want to spread with you, the audience, and the world. But now back to the story. For the, I was then told that I would have a full arm cast on my left arm for the rest of the summer. And instead of giving up on my summer and losing all fun, I chose to do my favorite thing with one arm, surfing. The first day of surfing was the worst day of my life. I didn't catch a single wave. But day after day after day, I kept practicing, and I was a able to surf better with one arm than two. That summer ended up being the best summer of my life, because I ended up being able to bike, skateboard, fish. I even ran a 5K when armed. But then I, I was feeling pretty good about myself, almost like a hero, until I thought about the people who excel with one arm permanently for a living. Bethany Hamilton. Bethany Hamilton is an extremely talented woman surfer who suffered a critical shark attack in 2003, losing her entire left arm. After years of motivation and practice for getting back in the water, she won her first international title two years after the attack and became a pro woman surfer. So I got to thinking that there are not only people who live with limbs, who live with no limbs permanently, but people who choose to do, who choose to go throughout life, choosing professions that demand the use of limbs. Take Tony Melendez. Tony Melendez was born with the side effect of the drug thalidomide, which causes, which pregnant women take while they were pregnant with their children, but they didn't know that it caused limb loss at the time. He was born with no arms, and could you guess his profession? Yes, he learned how to be a professional guitar player. So while researching about him, I thought about the Venus de Milo. The Venus de Milo is an ancient Greek sculpture that was believed to be created in 100 BC. Ar artists and critics were raving about it in 1820, not because of its beauty, but because of its lack of arms. It suggested that she was beautiful but broken, perfect but imperfect. And from then, I noticed that we had an instant similarity. We both made arms our thing. Hers through a piece of art, and mine through a TED Talk. So what we need to do is turn our thinking around. If you're missing an arm, either tempor temporarily or permanently, you need to stop trying to fit in and celebrate who you are. And this type of thinking needs to start when you're a kid. The company Toy Like Me represents millions of children with missing limbs throughout the world and makes dolls that represent their missing limbs so they can stop trying to fit in and celebrate their missing limbs and also encourage them to go throughout life with a wheelchair or prosthetics and have a friend. So to wrap it all up and save your time, I noticed that after all this, I became the guy who instead of who instead of not surfing because his one arm slowed him down, the guy who could surf because his arm motivated him. I am the guy who is crushing this TED Talk about arms. What's your biggest problem? Stop complaining and get to work. It's really your thing. Thank you.